Hi, I'm Philip, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the cartridge on your turntable. So this is the Mobile Fidelity Studio Deck, but the same steps apply to pretty much any turntable that has a removable cartridge. Uh, you're going to need a few things. Obviously, your turntable and the new cartridge. In our case, it's the Audio-Technica VM540ML. But you're also going to need a few other things. You're going to need an alignment protractor. You'll also need a tracking force gauge. You're going to need a small screwdriver or a small hex key. Then you may need a very small pair of needle nose pliers. Might not, but better to have them and not need them than need them and not have them. So the very first thing we're going to do is make sure we have our stylus cover installed. Uh, both the cartridge we're removing as well as the new one we're installing. We want to make sure that stylus cover's on. Second thing we're going to do is remove the four wire leads. Now in our case, they're color coded white, red, blue, and green. So I'm going to try to just pull these wire leads off just using my fingers. Uh, they're pretty delicate. So you do want to be pretty careful there. Uh, if they're stubborn, you can use the thin needle nose pliers. Um, usually you can just kind of wiggle them, break them loose with your fingers and then pull them straight off. With the wire leads disconnected, we're gonna go ahead and loosen the two screws that hold the cartridge to the head shell. So I'm gonna take my hex key here and go ahead and loosen those. Take the first screw out. And once you're loosening that second screw, make sure to hold the cartridge so it doesn't just fall. And there we go. So there is the Mobile Fidelity Studio Tracker cartridge that we are removing. Uh, put that in a safe place in case you want to swap it back in. So now we can take the new Audio Technica cartridge and we'll make sure the stylus cover is flipped down. And it has a single screw securing it to the packaging. So I'm going to hold the cartridge in place and carefully remove that screw. Again, I'm careful to make sure the stylus cover stays in place. There we go. And now we're going to reverse the steps. We're going to start by putting it in place and take our new screws and secure them in place from underneath. And once you get one on, it'll kind of hold itself in place right there. And that makes it a little easier to get the second one on. So we'll go up through with the second screw. There we go. Put the nut on the top. Get it in place. And start to get that tightened up. Now it's important with both of these, you want them tight enough that the cartridge is not gonna just move around freely. Uh, so you want it kind of snug, but you still wanna be able to move it, right? So it's not gonna move on its own, but I can adjust it and turn it. That is so we'll be able to align it with our uh, alignment protractor. Next, we can go ahead and reinstall the four wire leads. Again, in our case, we can match them up color for color. And I try to start with the inside wires and then move to the outside. So I'll go red, then I'll go green, then white, then blue. All right, and make sure those are all nice and secure. Now that we have the cartridge connected to the wire leads and it's secured to the head shell, uh, we can go ahead and set our tracking force based on the manufacturer's recommendation. In this case, Audio-Technica recommends between 1.8 and 2.2 grams. So right in the middle at two grams seems like a good place to start. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and Swing our tone arm out, remove our stylus cover, line it up very carefully. And so in our case, we're already super close, 2.04, uh, but go ahead and try to get a little more precise. We'll wind off the counterweight, then lower the tone arm. 
Again, the important part, just make sure that you're looking up what the manufacturer specifies uh, and setting it according to that range. So now that our tracking force is set, we can get started on aligning our cartridge. So put that out of the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, just a little paper alignment protractor. It's a two point protractor that uh, this is the style that you can either print out or it will come included sometimes in the box with your turntable. Uh, you just put the hole over the spindle. And so what you do is you line it up with the outside point first and you try to get it square. You want it perfectly perpendicular. So I'm gonna look overhead, see that we're not quite lined up and we're a little crooked. So lift it again. Really the key here is making very small, very incremental adjustments. So I'm gonna take a look and see, okay, that looks square from overhead. It looks square with my grid. So I'll go ahead and lift it and I'll move into the second point. And what you can see overhead is that while it was square to the grid markings on the outside point, on the inside point, it's now facing like that. It's sort of facing counterclockwise. What that means is you need to decrease overhang or move the cartridge back in the head shell, those two slots at the top. If you were to start and line it up at the outside point, then move it to the inside point, and it would be pointed inwards or kind of rotated clockwise towards one or two o'clock, you need to increase overhang or move the cartridge out towards the end of the head shell. So in our case, I can see it's a little counterclockwise the way it's rotated. So I'm gonna lift it up and move the whole thing back in the head shell. Now I'll go back to my first point. You gotta start at the first point each time. Move it very slightly trying to get it, trying to get it square and making sure the stylus is right over that sort of cross in the middle. All right, lower it over the first point again. We are square there. Come back over the inside point one more time. I think we are all set. At least in my eye while I'm trying to do this on camera and from the back of the turntable, it's a little easier if you're on that side, by the way. Um, it looks to be perfectly square at both the outside point and the inside point. So that means our cartridge is properly aligned. The very last step to that is we need to finish securing those screws um, without rotating or moving the cartridge in the head shell. Very important, or then it screws up all the work we just did. So, gonna go ahead and take our screwdriver and very, very carefully secure those screws. All right, I think we were all set and it doesn't look like we moved it at all. Probably a good idea to go ahead and double check one more time. Now that it's secured, we'll go to our outside point, drop it, take a good look, make sure it's lined up. Looks square on the outside point. So let's make sure we didn't move it forward or back at all. Line up to the inside point. Perfect. So we have replaced the cartridge on our turntable. Hopefully this video helped you see that it really isn't complicated. And if you have any questions on turntables, cartridges, anything like that, feel free to give us a call, send us an email or chat with us online.